I'm going to add one question to this problem. So we know that anything above 7,500 gallons will be a profit. So I want to know what is the profit at Q equal to 8,000 gallons. Okay, so then again, we know that whenever the Q is greater than the QBE, like in that case, 8,000 is greater than 7,500, we will be using this formula because there will be a profit. Okay, so it's going to be the revenue minus the total cost, and then we can plug in uh, or break it down the R and the total cost. Remember that the total cost is made up of the fixed times the variable. Okay, so let's use that formula to solve the question. We have profit equals to revenues minus total cost. Okay, so in our case, we would have RQ minus, we have fixed cost plus variable cost per unit times the number of units, or VQ. And now we can plug in our values. So we have little r, 0.30, times the Q that's given here, minus the fixed cost was given, 900 plus 0.18 times again the Q that's been given to us in that question and the answer will be $60 there's other ways to do this without using the formulas but I would recommend that you stick to the to what we know but you could have also do the following so you can get the difference between the revenue and the total cost per unit I mean the variable cost per unit so it would be 0.30 minus 0.18 that gives us 0.12 per gallon and then we know that this is a break even, so there will be a profit in this 500 uh, gallons. So it's the difference between our Q minus the break even. And then we just multiply these two. So we would have 500 times 0.12 and will also give us $60. Then again, there's different ways of solving the problem, although I do recommend that you stick to this one. Uh, one thing here, we already knew that there was a profit uh, because it was greater. If I had given you a Q that was lower than the break-even point, you can still plug it in here, but your result would be negative. So if you get a, re a negative result, that means that you will have a loss and not a profit.